Hey guys, Abby here. I'm here today sharing with you my favorite thing to sew and wear, and that is sweatshirts. I live for the day that it cools down in Charleston that I can wear a sweatshirt and nothing else, no jacket. So I really enjoy sewing them and wearing them. So I'm just going to go through um, some of the patterns I have. I picked from my closet my current favorites. So I'll talk to you a little bit about the patterns and a little bit about the fabric and give you some tips on sewing sweatshirts. So first up is the Grainline Studio Linden pattern. That is probably the one I've sewn the most. It is your classic raglan sleeve sweatshirt. It's meant for a uh, fabric that does have stretch. This one I'm wearing right now is a French Terry. It's a Liberty fabric that I picked up in New York City. It has some stretch, so I didn't have to do any changes to the pattern um, or construction of the sweatshirt. It sewed up very nicely. The next one I've made is out of your classic kind of sweatshirt fabric. It's fleece line, very soft. This fabric, I believe, is the Michael Miller Organic uh, sweatshirt fabric. And this one doesn't have a lot of stretch. I chose to underline it with some eyelet, which has no stretch at all. So I did run into a few problems um, with the neckline. It was wanting to pucker on my neck. Um, so all I did was pinch in a little bit in the back um, raglan seam to get it to lay nicely on my neck. And that was all I needed to do. And the rest fits just fine because the linden is more of a boxy sweatshirt. The next pattern I he have here is the Sewaholic Frasier sweatshirt. This one is a little bit different than the linden because it doesn't have raglan sleeves. So if you're wanting a little different sleeve, then this is a good choice. It's also a little less boxy than the uh, linden sweatshirt. So the first one I have, I sewed out another French terry. This was a very special fabric all the way from Japan. It's from Miss Matabi Fabric. I'm not sure if she still has it, but I'll check for you and link below if she does. But this is one of my favorite fabrics here. I also sewed up another Frasier, but I turned this one into a dress. And that's really easy to do with all of the patterns I have today. They can just be lengthened into a dress. I've done that with the linden as well. And for both of those, I didn't find I needed to flare out any for my hips. I just kept continuing with the line and it worked really great. Um, you can even, you can leave the hemband off or you can um, put it on either way for the dress. So this one is out of another Liberty fabric. Um, also from New York City. So that is the Frasier. The next one is the newest pattern to me. This is by Hey June. It's the Halifax. I have um, sewn the version that has the seams that are twisted towards the front. It's also a little uh, longer in the back, so it's got that high-low hem. I sewed it out of a French terry that I picked up in New York City. This one was super cheap, but it's one of my favorite finds from our last trip. I like this pattern. Um, this is my favorite version with the forward seams, but it also has a zip-up jacket. It's got a cow neck. I'm um, trying to think of the other versions. There's one more version I have to look, but it comes with a lot of options. So you get a lot for um, that price. And then I sewed up another one. It's actually not out of sweatshirt fabric. I decided to give it a try out of a sweater knit, and I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out. It actually turned out really cute. I left the band off to make it more like a sweater. Uh, it came out really, really nice. I like that one. And then the last one I have is the Victory Patterns Lola sweatshirt dress. So it's a little bit different. Uh, it's got a nice empire waist. Um, it's got great pockets on the side. I added in a little embroidery um, to make it a little dressier. That one's a really fun pattern if you're looking to be comfy wearing a sweatshirt but you want it to be a little more stylish. And then I'll talk a little bit about some of the tricks I found for sweatshirts. I sew mine completely on the serger. You can of course use your machine. It's easiest on a serger. But what you might find is the fabrics are very thick and it can be difficult to run through your serger. You might get wavy seams. So I um, Indie Sew, if you haven't heard of Indie Sew, go check out their website. They did a great blog post on some adjustments you can make to your machine to get rid of those wavy seams. And it just so happens she has the same serger as me. So I tried those adjustments. It worked perfectly. I have no more wavy seams. So 
um, that really, really makes a big difference in sewing with your sweatshirts. Some things you want to look for, um, you know, you can, I work somewhere where I can dress pretty casually. So I can wear this sweatshirt to work. Because it's out of a nicer fabric, can really get by with it. So I kind of like to splurge on my sweatshirt fabric and really make it more than just your typical bought it at Target sweatshirt. But of course, I did find some really great ones that were around $8 a yard in New York City that look like they're much nicer than um, you would buy at Target. So that's it for my favorite sweatshirts. If you're snowed in somewhere, then I think you should give one of these a try. I think you'll really love them. They can be sewn in just a few short hours, so it's a really quick and satisfying project. And if you have any patterns that I haven't mentioned here today, I would love to hear about them. I am obsessed with sweatshirts, so I'm more than happy to add another one to my collection. So you can just leave that in the comments below. And of course, make sure you subscribe to us so you never miss a video. Give our video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can follow us on all of our social media accounts. So until next time, guys. Bye.